Well, you better listen to what I'm telling you right now because if you like having a stroke when you're 15, if you like having heart attacks at 25, if you like that millions of people are getting uh, early onset of what they call brain disorders uh, that they're calling you know juvenile and, and other forms of Alzheimer's now. I mean, if you like the fact that kids are dying to your left and dying to your right, and the juvenile cancers are exploding by over 3,000% on average. If you like that in the 1950s, one out of 33 died of cancer. Now it's one out of three. If you like that everywhere you go, people are just devastated. I mean, it's all spelled out by this bastard. <laughs> I mean, you might want to read how they're killing you. <laughs> I mean, I'm risking my life to tell you this, but I was thinking about it today. I said, I don't even care if they kill me. I want to keep living, but... The point is, how could you not fight something this big, fight something this bad? Look, I'm right about this. This is real, even if you don't want to believe it and you want to laugh at it. Now, we have hundreds of pages of this textbook scanned and posted at PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com right now. And it's one of the top featured stories. It's already scrolled down to the bottom of top featured stories on InfoWars and Prison Planet. And Paul Hartman in there and uh, Jaron Nyhart, they're... they're the, they're showing you at PrisonPlanet.tv, the cover of it, uh, by John P. Holdren, Eco-Science, Pollution, uh, Population, Resources, and Environment. Population, Resources, and Environment. And this is a policy report. Now, he later became the head of technological development at MIT and then the head of technology at Harvard, and he's now the national head. This guy is the National Director of White House Office of Science Technology, OSTP, directing DARPA, directing Pentagon developments, directing hundreds of federal agencies, private corporations, thousands of universities, the black ops, all of it. This is the guy. Nanotech, genetic engineering, chemical weapons, biological weapons, the whole direction of the country. This is a textbook. And, and if you read the other two scientists he wrote it with, they're all open public eugenicists, openly calling. Now, he calls in here, and we're going to go through this today, piece by piece. But do not believe me. If you're driving down the road, listening to us in Chicago, or listening to us in Los Angeles, or listening to us in Austin, Texas, or listening to us in Miami, we're on big blowtorches, like KRLA in Los Angeles, and huge blowtorches in Miami, and upstate New York, and Chicago, and News Radio 590 in Austin, and so many others. And a lot of little stations across the country, and Global Shortwave, WWCR, and, and, and XM, and number one internet streaming and InfoWars.com. Number one show on Southcast, number one on Flycast, and on hundreds of other services that list it, we're routinely number one. The point here is, do not sit here and play games with you and your family's life. Do not Sit there during the next hour and 45 minutes and roll your eyes and suck your thumb or change the channel. Because regardless of who you are, black, white, old, young, a police officer, a firefighter, a school teacher, a doctor, a lawyer, a Palestinian, a Jew, a German, Chinese, Japanese, Mexican, Venezuelan, Anuit, Nicaraguan, South Korean, I don't care who you are. You could be Deutsch. You could be Swiss. It doesn't matter. You could be uh, from South Africa. All of you, and me included, all of us, you and I, are under this attack. This is the only issue. You know, I saw a disgusting story. It's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. How the biggest story of 2009 and the second biggest story in history according to CNN and others that are gauging it, is Michael Jackson's death. Here's the London Telegraph. Michael Jackson's death, second biggest story of the century. After the election of President Obama. Not a million plus dead Iraqis. Not World War II. And I guess that's the last century. Not any of this. No. It's Michael Jackson dying. See, the media is trying to divert you while you're being hit by the eugenicist. While you're being killed. Soft killed. With full spectrum dominance. While that, while they're doing that, they want to not just to distract you, but set the agenda. Set the agenda and, and totally just get people diverted into these issues that don't matter. Folks, the, how they're putting poison in the water to sterilize you when we get back. Stay with us. You understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? 
No more Mr. Nice Guy, say the so-called environmentalists. They're going to put compounds to sterilize you in the water. They're going to sterilize you with vaccines. They're going to have forced abortions and infanticide. They're going to kill your baby. Because they're really Nazis. It has nothing to do with the environmental movement. We're going to break that down. Now, let me set the table before I plunge into this. If you're listening to us on AM, FM, shortwave, satellite, internet, however you're listening, call your friends, your family, your neighbors, and tell them to tune in to that local station. Or tell them to listen on the web at Infowars.com or GCNlive.com or PrisonPlanet.tv. Whatever you do, this is important information, not Michael Jackson's second biggest story of the century after Obama being elected. I mean, this is sick. The biggest story of this century should be over a million plus dead Iraqis from the so-called liberation. But again, if you're watching us at PrisonPlanet.tv, you can see all these documents. Put the book, the textbook, back up on screen for everybody that's watching. And remember that when I talk about this, this is not just one government textbook. This is not just one publication for academics. This is the most important point to this. Remember Dr. Eric Pianca three years ago? It's in my film Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. He goes on national TV and says, I think we should kill 90% of the public with an airborne Ebola. Then he goes to the Texas Academy of Sciences and wins the first place award. And the news reports, he gets a standing ovation. And I had the reporters on. They said over 90% of the crowd crying and cheering for over three minutes. This was in the two Texas newspapers. Then he went to St. Edwards here in Austin, got another round of standing ovation. When on the PowerPoint, one of the heads of the biology department at UT Dr. Eric Bianca projects a PowerPoint of human skulls blown up on the wall, 30 feet high, and says, we need to kill 90% of the public. They start crying in rapture. This is a death cult. The issue is 90, well, one reporter on the show, when I talked to him, said 95% got up and clapped. He said almost everybody. And here's the big issue. It isn't just the president's top science advisor. When you go to any of these big universities, any biology department, any psychology department, just randomly pick the head of your psychology department or the head of your biology department. Google their name under eugenics or under forced sterilization. And I would say, because I've done this, over 90% of the time, nine times out of ten, they are going to be for exterminating 80% of the population at least. Some say 90. When I started criticizing Dr. Eric Pianca, I got threatening phone calls and emails, and I'd even posted a photo of one of his students hugging him, one of his graduate students, and she sent me a threatening email saying, don't put me on your website, even though it was in a newspaper. And then I looked at her name and went and looked up her graduate papers, and then I went and looked up other graduate papers under Pianca, and they were saying stuff like, Pianca is not radical enough. We must kill all humans. Homo sapiens sapien is a cancer and a parasite and bad, and we must kill all humans. And then I had them sending me their graduate papers, going, I'm a doctor of biology working at this, and I assure you, he's a very great man and taught me 15 years ago. And, and, and we need to get rid of almost all humans and only keep a few thousand. Folks, th this is the majority. This is the norm. My father at the University of Texas, top of his class in the 1960s, was they attempted to recruit him. He never even told me about this till he saw Endgame. And my mother was saying, it can't be true. It can't. And he said, no, honey, they actually tried to recruit me. The head of the botany department tried to recruit him in to a movement for world government and to carry out eugenics. So when I go over how they're putting poison in the water right now, it's happening right now. They're killing us right now with soft kill weapons. And I'll define soft kill for you. You're being sterilized right now. You're having heavy metals put into your brain tissue right now. You're being shot up with cancer viruses right now. Understand that if you will just go read his book and read the other government textbooks, that you will see this. 
and that it is hard to find one of these people that isn't into this. They are a cult of control freaks. They love the fact that they're in all the positions of power and that they're doing this. And they write books laughing at how you don't care and aren't involved. And so that's how evidence through social Darwinism shows that you don't care, so you deserve to die. Now listen to me carefully. This is not shock radio. This is shocking reality. Hitler was real. What he did, he was only a side group. He was only uh, one small, 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 poquito branch, a mini branch of this larger system of crypto eugenics. Now, remember this article I made a big deal out of? We're going to play a clip coming up later of, of U.S. News. ABC News said, oh, well, billionaires, the richest in the world, met to help humanity but wouldn't say what the secret meeting was.